Ah, hello. My name is Ron McKnight. I'm an artist from Limerick, Ireland. And um, this is my first YouTube video. And I want to share with YouTubers and artists alike and students about the painting which I'm doing at the moment. And uh, it's called The uh, Luncheon of the Boating Party in Isles. And uh, by Pierre, Pierre Auguste Renoir. And he was one of the great impressionists, as people know. And uh, it's a beautiful painting. The original painting is in the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C. It was bought by Duncan Phillips from Paul Durand's Paul son in 1923 for $120,000. There was a lot of money, and it's the it's the it's the most um, viewed painting in the collection in Washington, and people travel from all over the world to see it. But I said I had a, I'd have a go at it because uh, I like to do copies and um, copies of it that are great learning curve, you know, that I find, of course, along with my own work as well. But I love this painting. So I decided to have a go at it, and um, in Isles, as I say, uh, Pierre Gosse Renoir, he painted it in 1880 to 1881, and it took him a year to paint. Now the way he painted it, I don't know where he started, I suspect he started here with the painting and worked his way around, but that wouldn't be the case because at the time, his models weren't always available. So when they were available, we say, like Calabotti here, a fellow artist, he put him in and paint him. And likewise, this lady here, which she became Renoir's wife. And uh, this is the, the owner's son, Alf Alphonse Sartneri, Sartnerzi. Excuse my French. And this is his sister here. And uh, I think he's an Italian John, uh, journalist, uh, poet, a critic, sorry, uh, a collector, fellow, another artist, an actress, and so forth. And that, uh, this act, she's an actress as well, I think, as far as I know. But it's a beautiful painting, and it's, it's kind of semi abstract as well, you know, with all the, the table. You know the the or the, the fruit and stuff in the tables, but of course, um, Renoir at the time, he uh, you know he was, he was fairly well un unknown. But as I say, when the when the models became available, he he he, he painted them. But he changed the composition a lot over that year, and uh, eventually this is the picture that he came up with. It's just superb, exquisite, in fact. I think. And this girl here, she's actually the centre. You know, the eye eventually goes back to her. It's a kind of a triangle like that. And then you have this, this section here and those section there. But eventually she's the centre of interest, which is beautiful, you know, she's leaning over the balcony. And, they, and that's the, the way the composition is. But it's great learning curve for any painter to study, all the great masters studied the old masters and copies and things like that. And I'm no exception, and I love to do it. I love to do my own work as well, of course, you know, but um, I get great satisfaction out of it. But uh, I spend a good bit of time in this painting now, and it's done in oils. Uh, so, for instance, this lady here, her hand is not, when I finish the painting, when I finish the painting, I'll have to go back over and restate the whole painting. You know, um, for instance, her hand there, no, that's not the, the right colour there. So I'll have to put in the right colours, because that's dead colour. You know, and I, might, and I might see mistakes here. Of course there's mistakes in the painting. You know, of course, because you can't paint it exactly like Renoir. Unless you're, you know, you're the, you're the best the forger in the world. But um, for instance, here the flesh tones here on his on his hands and things like that, so, you know, and his face and things like that, you know, and her hand here that's not the right colour either. 
So, but what I'm, what I'm aiming at is to get all the elements in first. Get it, you know, and then once it looks right, I can go back and restate all the other things that I find that I think is wrong with the painting. And um, so far I'm happy enough with it. You know, like, uh, it's, it's 20 by 26. The original painting, I think, is about 56 inches by 40-something. It's a huge painting. I think it's one of his... One of his largest paintings, as far as I know. And, um, but um, uh, Paul Randwell, he represented all the Impressionist painters at the time. And he bought this from Renoir, which Renoir exhibited in 1882 at the 7th uh, Impressionist exhibition, which it was highly praised. It was the, the critics said it was the best painting in the show. And uh, in 1923, Duncan Phillips from the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C., he eventually purchased it for $120,000. He was after the painting for about a decade, and he bought it off of Paul Royal's son, which sold it to him. And, it's, and, it, and that's where it hangs today, the original. And um, uh, hopefully... I'd, 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 I'd finish the painting and I'd be happy enough for it. But um, I hope people get something out of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful on the eyes, beautifully balanced, you know, and um, because uh, when Waffer in this canopy at the time, it wasn't in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, the restaurant. But it's, re it's really beautiful, you know, because you can actually feel kind of a breeze going through the painting, you know. It, you know, as if like the, it's the wind is just whistling through the painting. Beautiful. And I love it. And I hope that I finish it. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope, something, I hope you got something out of it, students and whoever I like. And uh, you can view my work on, um, on Instagram, Ron McNight. And you can find me on Facebook as well. And I want to thank you very much for watching. And hopefully the next time when I when I do when I finish the painting, I'll show you the finished painting. And we'll move on then to to another copy maybe, you know, or I'll do my own work in between. But it's a great learning curve. And we, you know, as art just we're always learning. Until the day we we expire, as the guy says, you know. And I want to thank you very much.